Welcome to Tanks Invest. We're talking about investing, finance, and professional development. That's a recording time of 12.54 p.m. on the Eastern Time. Ethereum contract $2,664. That's about 3.63% so far. As you can see clearly on our crypto market, we are still within the de-escalating decline momentum at the moment. And on the most recent media affectation that I'm seeing, um, besides the first posting that I posted about three to four hours ago, uh, we have some latest development coming from the White House. It seems like with respect to the administration and Joe Biden, they will be hosting a meeting of the National Security of, uh, Council on Sunday today, knowing the fact that with respect to the condition um, you know, in Ukraine, on a high level perspective, uh, and you know, based on their observation, is rapidly deteriorating. So what they're gonna be doing is basically brainstorm uh, on the next tactical and strategic moves as obviously Russia is on the offensive front, while at the same time, you know, U.S. alongside with Ukraine and obviously with U.K. in alliance, that uh, if something was going to happen, they will be on full defense force, right? Um, and hopefully to mitigate, uh, but also counter, um, you know, the uh, progressions of this uh, war worsening, right? So with that news, uh, I guess, um, you know, the market is still kind of digesting. This is still just a more of a developmental story. Nothing really confirmatory. They're just gonna be speaking among with one another with all the intelligence to, you know, come up with some sort of a strategic plan, right, on the next move, right, or how to find out like what are the plan Bs or how do they mitigate going forward. Um, so it could convey as some sort of like a positive signal. Uh, to some selective investors, so we subsequently kind of bounce off from a technical level, right? We were at the 2625 earlier, which was the next level of substantive consolidated level. We are levitating back up a little bit to the 2664. So let's dive into technical just, you know, without wasting any more time. Um, beside other news, they're, they're not really that substantive. These are more like foreshadow or regurgitation news around what's happening. The main developmental news is really coming from the uh, the White House with respect to their uh, National Security Council that they're hosting today. So with respect to recording time, again, approximately 1 p.m. on the Eastern time, Ethereum contract basically $2,650, uh, down about 3.6%. Um, at the moment right now, there's no signs of a reversal yet. We're still at the 40 out of 70. Uh, there's no signs on the coverage on the MACD front yet. So think of this as like a baseball so is the RSI as well. So eventually, you're going to see some sort of like a, a plateau um, and it's going to start stalling. And then once you, as you see the stall and you will start to see a little bit of a peak of the negative apex, right? And that will technically indicate some sort of a preliminary rebound. And I think the preliminary rebound that we will get down to will be somewhere around like the 2625. If we get the full confirmatory signal on the wall breaking out, obviously, Knowing the fact that today, tomorrow, or both um, U.S. holidays, it should technically drive us down to the 2,350. Um, and if it gets even worse, right, break down to the two subsequent levels to the 2,150 as well. That could be a possibility. In respect to Bitcoin, is down about 4.15%. Uh, we have rebounded just slightly because of the... Um, the council meeting that's happening today uh, seems like they are training nicely because of the fact that if they try to come up with some sort of a strategic plan, um, it can convey some sort of optimism among investors, but just a more of a preliminary perspective, obviously. Uh, so the natural next glide per our depictions around Ethereum as well will be somewhere around like the 37,500 uh, 37, uh, as the first bounce level, which we got to earlier today. With a 30 out of 70 right now um but if we get you know obviously a breakthrough um or a confirmatory signal on a negative depiction it'll be somewhere around like 34 500 i think 30,000 would be a relatively large stretch uh but it could be possible but i would say is is um fairly mitigated because of the fact that we are relatively oversold already Respect to Dogecoin, down about 2.53%. Uh, the 41 out of 70. Uh, I like anywhere from, again, right? 13, 20, all the way to 12 cents from here. Um, Cardano's down about 5.5%. Uh, we are clearly below the $1. Uh, again, right? Anywhere from 99 cents all the way to basically 
the bottom and you see that we retested 91 today matching with the previous level with the 35 out of 70 so relatively oversold so i would say right now is actually a good logical level to buy solana is at 90 right now uh, which is exactly you know the beginning point of where you should be dollar cost averaging at if you talk about the recent frame uh, on dca right anywhere from 90 all the way to 90 80 dollars would be logical at the 37 out of 70 and respect to xrp is 78 right now down about 5.63 percent uh, we're lingering on right now um and uh, for some reason this also looks like a downward wedge as well so it's kind of a mixed signal but um we know that whatever goes up really really fast come down just as fast so right now we're just lingering because this is a resistance level even though it looks like a downward wedge which is oftentimes a bullish signal but it got cancelled out by the MACD and the RSI front. We are crossing down. So there's a death cross coming. So that means we'll break through to, to the 69. And with respect to, we do have a large leap down from 53 out of 70. So it's relatively over, but obviously for the green candle. So I would not touch this until we get to the 69, which is going to be the first bounce. But I would probably not touch it until 62 to 57 from here. Polkadot is down about 4.57%, uh, 1690 right now. I like any from current level all the way to the bottom, 1587 from here. Our grand is down about 5%. Uh, I like anywhere from current level all the way to 79 cents from here as well. Shiba Inu is down about 7% right now. Um, I like, again, right low 2000s, which is like where we're going to right now. Uh, we still have some way to go. We just form a death cross, obviously. Uh, 1400 to 900 from here. MacTag is down about 6.38% so far. 143 to 120 would be the next logical levels for me to encourage. Uh, AVAX is down about 7% as well. We are, um, we form a death cross slowly. We can see that. At the same time, um, we are going to be uh, still relatively overbought. So again, right, anywhere from 59 to 50. Uh, Luna is down about 1.76% at 49 right now. So we're basically $4 above the 45 level, right? 62, 52 to 45 from here. So right now it's actually tolerable at the 40 out of 70, uh, slowly depleting back down to uh, around 45 at that dollar cost average level that we identify. So hope you guys all have a good Sunday. Um, I'm actually going to head out soon. I'm um, getting ready. Uh, just do some errands and um, you know also had to buy something for my mom as well um, so uh, I'll be um, around so let me know I'm still on my phone anyways so let me know if you have any questions I'm happy to address them for you and I'll still keep an eye out on uh, how we're progressing today obviously you know the White House and you know Joe Biden and the other nations are working together brainstorming what's the right the right tactical next steps um, and the right strategic steps as well uh, hopefully this does not progress in a negative manner and let's just hope that this will subside eventually in terms of some sort of like a compromise or agreement from there um, so have a good Sunday and let me know how it goes take care bye